Well, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed says that his government will begin negotiations with the rebel group, the Oromo Liberation Army. The talks are scheduled for Tuesday in Tanzania. This is the first time the Ethiopian government has formally said that it would negotiate with OLI, which has been battling the government on and off for decades. More recently, the OLA and the government have been blaming each other for a number of attacks in which scores of civilians were killed in the Oromia region. Well, for more on this, our reporter Giram Chala joins us live from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital. Hi there, Giram. Thank you so much for being on Africa Live. Giram, what can you tell us about these planned talks between Ethiopia's government and the OLA? Well, Hannah, first of all, the announcement came out as a surprise as the Prime Minister was just talking about it uh, in a different session which was organized uh, to award uh, those people who have been taking part in the peace process uh, to uh, bring peace back to the northern part of Ethiopia. So he was simply uh, saying that uh, the talks between OLA, the Oromo Liberation Army and the government will be held in a couple of days time and nobody really expected that. Now, that being the case, Everyone is excited because this, is, uh, this has been uh, something that has been long overdue and it's also hoped that it will bring peace to the country. Already we know that delegations of the Ethiopian government have arrived in uh, Tanzania to start these discussions and also there were um, uh, rumors that this, this first round is going to be somehow a preparatory meeting that's going to lay the foundation for the upcoming talks uh, and also uh, for the agreement to be reached at the end of the day. So this is really uh, something exciting. People uh, we've been trying to speak to across the streets of Addis Ababa have told us that Ethiopia deserves to be peaceful. And one of the uh, 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 left uh, aside homeworks was uh, to discuss and find a peaceful resolution between the OLA and the government. And now that it's happening, it is something that uh, to hope for and also to bank on that it is going to give an all-inclusive peace uh, to Ethiopia. Well, Garam, talk to us about the timing of this development. Why now and what are the expectations from these talks? Well, uh, you understand that the Oromo Liberation Army has been in the jungles uh, even before the coming of the current Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in the time of the EPRD of the former regime of Ethiopia. It's been uh, fighting and it's been also designated time and again as a terrorist organization uh, in the jungles and the government also was fighting them uh, uh, for a long time and recently there were killings uh, uh, that were also blamed on them and they were denying it uh, in fact for a long time. So they say that they are fighting for the liberation of the people of Oromo but then again uh, the discussions in the uh, roundtable uh, talks to resolve this uh, violent activity uh, was supposed to be done a long long time ago according to experts and now that there is a paved road and an experience from a northern uh, war and the end of it all uh, through a peaceful means um, so Ethiopia can say that uh, it has experiences and the all parties including the African Union, Egan and others are also uh, eager to assist uh, the two sides, the OLA and the government uh, in order to you know, continue the momentum of peace in this nation. So this is really uh, the best timing to strike a deal between the two parties and also to give Ethiopia uh, a peace that it deserves uh, because uh, so many people have lost their lives uh, not only in the north but also in the eastern part of Ethiopia because of the fighting between the two sides. So uh, this is really timely and in fact some people argue that this is uh, long overdue uh, but then again the, the starting of it is a great news for uh, the people who have been suffering because of the war between OLA and the government of Ethiopia.